Hey everybody, this is Blue Phoenix, aka Urkin Fresh. I had a pretty busy summer. I was uh, kind of setting up a new studio, was traveling, <laughs> had a lot going on. But uh, in the meantime, Sinfire 1.8.1 was released by Cognitone. Uh, what really caught my eye about this was a few things here. Uh, the, apparently, the setup has been made a lot simpler. Uh, before, you had to create a, a connector like three or four times for each plugin. You had to duplicate a lot of setup for those. Um, that is no longer the case, apparently. Um, there's also a built-in sampler and a built-in synth that I'd kind of like to get my hands on and see how they work. Um, so I've, I've clobbered my uh, prior configurations. I'm going to start from scratch. Um, of course, we have this lovely, uh, you don't have an input MIDI. Like, I don't care. Okay, so I'm going to go to my global sounds here. And uh, there's a lovely uh, red one for some reason. And I'm going to do uh, audio settings on this engine. Uh, apparently it does remember <laughs> this setting. But uh, I've selected uh, ASIO and you have ASIO for all. It's a free download for a uh, basically this thing here. You're going to select your USB interface. I've got the Focusrite uh, USB audio already set up. So I hear a test tone. It's working great, awesome. That much is easy. Now I'm going to do a uh, scan installed plugins. And what I've noticed is uh, last time I did this was it, it shows up in the background, it'll be on your taskbar. Um, so you just click on it. Uh, it shows up behind Sinfire, which is really, really bad. But uh, here it is. But anyway, uh, if you, uh, I, I've installed all of my VSTs to this CVST. And uh, scan and reset. Let's just do that. Uh, VST plugins. These are the default directories. I'm just going to leave them there. And then I added my CVST. I hit start. It's going to go through and load all these uh, DLLs. A few plugins didn't work. Insight, don't really care about. I don't know why Kick didn't work. <laughs> don't need it anyway for where I'm going. So. All right, we're gonna go ahead and double click here and add a new rack module. And you'll see it's this blank engine 101, da 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 da. Uh, I'm gonna do load plugin. I'm gonna start with contact, the world's favorite sampler. And in contact, I'm gonna load up this multi bank that I created before. I have a new, another tutorial about how to do this. Basically, it's a collection of instruments, and this will allow you to select any of these four later on in Sinfire. And I can put a link to that in the description uh, on how to create that. Um, that'll be useful later during the setup. So I'm going to close this. And right now, it's going to say unknown device. Okay, so it doesn't really know what kind of device this is. If I go to global device descriptions, now I'm going to go ahead and add a, a new uh, fixed channels. Call this contact. Um, so it's really strange because now I go in here and I create contact. Then I go back to the global rack and I have to pick contact here. Now I go back to the global device descriptions. And it's now associated with uh, the correct, should be associated with contact. Now for the programs on contact, uh, I'm just going to create a new sound bank here. And just, uh, I don't know why it won't let me do that. So anyway, I'm going to add a sound here. The device needs at least one dynamic channel. Okay. So what I've done wrong here is I need to uh, click this gear here. It's got one MIDI channel. And the way you want to set up contact is to use dynamic program selection. Um, you could find that in the manual for contact, actually. Uh, if you look at how multibanks work, then you can find that in the contact uh, documentation. So I'm just going to create a, I'm going to call it concert grand. And let's see, it'd be easier if I pull up my VST here. Contact. <clears throat> you can see that concert grand is number one. So I just have to go down here to 
uh, program and select one. And this is a piano, so I'm going to select acoustic piano. So unfortunately, contact is a bit uh, manual in this process. You do have to select each instrument um, on its own. So if you have a lot of instruments, that can be a real pain in the butt. But uh, just the way it is. And one more for bass. Use uh, acoustic bass. Technically, it's an upright bass, but uh, whatever. I'll be able to find it. That's the important thing. So, with any luck, as I click through these, you'll see that the highlight in contact is changing. So, something actually worked for a change. I'm going to go ahead and close my rack here. And then I'm just going to go ahead and pick my. Um, Oh, it's still thinking. Okay. If I pick contact, I can now select concert grand or whatever. I'm going to do a freehand. I'm just going to put some notes on here. That's beautiful. We're ready to publish that guy, aren't we? So let's say we don't want a concert grand. I can, I can hit this uh, magnifying glass. Change it to a base. That doesn't sound too good. <laughs> Let's try a uh, violin. Okay. I do notice that the gain is a bit uh, low, so we'll just turn that up a bit. Unfortunately, the volumes are still in that global rack setup. I really would like to see volumes out here somehow. I know that's a little bit tricky the way this is uh, all set up. But anyway, sidetrack. I'm going to go ahead and add just one more instrument here. Um, let's see. I'm going to add... I believe I want to use this one again. I'm going to do Z. I'll do Diva this time. Diva. Let's see, now I go back to the global rack, and I'm going to load um, Diva. Loading plugin. Usually doesn't take this long to load Diva, but here it is. Okay, hey. yay, it didn't die. And I'm going to pick Diva. Boom. Okay. Diva connected da, 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 programs. Now, uh, again, in that other tutorial where I've set up my synths, if I go to patches and I have my MIDI programs here, you'll see I have different categories. Um, well, I don't have any leads for Diva set up yet. Um, again, that other tutorial will explain that more. But because this plugin is so awesome, I can go in here and say extract from plugin. So the Yuhi Sense are really nice about this. Um, they, they work really well with Sinfire for this reason. And what it's going to do is it's going through and just reading from Diva all of those MIDI programs that I've set up before. Okay, so the total scan took a couple minutes here. And uh, you'll see that what it's done is created these, um, these banks. So each of these banks represents one of the uh, banks here in the MIDI programs. Uh, in fact, extracted bank one is the pad. So I'm just gonna, I can just go ahead and to rename those to pads here. Uh, five was ARPS. Four is subs. And three is base. <laughs> is bases. Unfortunately, I don't know why it does this, but it duplicates the last, um, the last, let's see, is this, yeah, pads. The sunlight of Nephany was duplicated like a gazillion times. If I go up here and I just do shift click at the bottom and then remove them, that fixes it. Um, not a huge deal. This is still easier than the setup was for contact. Um, I wish there was some automatic way to do contact, but 
I haven't figured it out yet. And so I just need to clean these up real quick. Bang. Okay. Last thing I'm going to do is assign these to categories because this will make it a lot easier for me to find them later. These are uh, synth bases. Uh, these are uh, also synth bases. These are ARPs. I think I'm just going to pick um, synth and pads. And go to synth pad. Okay. All right. And close Diva down. Close this down, which will save the rack. And give it a chance to think. Okay, so I had to play around with the global rack a little bit more. And for some reason, when I uh, I just deleted the, the Diva rack, I'll go ahead and do that again. Uh, whatever pro problem I was having with the rack, I just deleted Diva. And I uh, double clicked it. Added Diva again. Selected the Diva synthesizer. And it was happy as a happy as a what? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's that sound. That's short and whatever. Short and sweet. I don't know. Okay, so that's the basics of how you set up this uh, this rack. So let's say now I want two divas going. So I'm going to add another line here. Do 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 do, and I want this one to be. Whoa, stop! Let's say I want this one to be um like uh, short short and whatever. It's going to say, oh no, I can't do it. There's there's no room in the rack, man. You can't do that. Well. What we do in Sinfire 1.8.1, um, you just click on the rack. Uh, the, if you need another diva, you just highlight it and you do Control D. Diva 2. Close this. Now, hopefully, it won't pitch a fit. And you'll see now that it has selected diva 1 for this and diva 2 for the second one. So previously, in uh, prior versions of Sinfire, you would have had to do all that setup for that rack four times, I believe. I can't remember. It was so bad and painful I blacked it out, but uh, that's, that's done. No problems.